I'm going to show you the Western Digital My Passport Ultra 4 Mac portable hard drive. This one is a 5 terabyte hard drive and it's designed to be used with a Mac and says that it is pre-formatted. This one has USB-C, USB-A connection. And the way they do that is with the cable, they just provide an adapter so that you can plug it into the older USB-A style or the newer USB style connections. Let's open it up. Got our hard drive, got a little manual in multiple languages and a tiny little text. We will use that and we have our cable. So this cable is what's going to allow you to plug into either USB-A or USB-C. The one end that goes into the drive is a USB-C and then the other end has the adapter to go into USB-A. And I was hoping that it would actually be attached in some way where you could just, you know, flip it around, connect it, and then if you had it off, it would still be attached. Um, that would be great, being that it's portable. Um, you know, last thing you want to do is need the A adapter and discover that, yeah, you lost this somewhere along the way and now you can't connect it to your laptop. Um, so that's a little disappointing. Here's the drive. It says right on here, my passport, Ultra 4 Mac. And then you'll see here on the back is our USB-C connection. So again, this one's the five terabyte model. There's also a four and a two terabyte that you can get. And uh, it comes in this silver finish. And then I think the other option is uh, currently is a, is a dark blue. So if you wanna connect this up to your laptop and you have a USB-C connection on your laptop, you're just gonna want this cable, connect it to the drive, and grab your laptop or, or your desktop iMac. And this one happens to have the USB-C, and so our drive would connect directly into our laptop. Little light comes on, you can feel the hard drive spinning. And next all you'd wanna do is uh, configure your time machine. Something to keep in mind when you're using the adapter. There are two little notches on here. You can see they're only on one side. And that's because they want you to connect this up a certain way. If I connect it this way, you can see there's a space. And if I turn it around, it fits in nicely. So if you're struggling with it or you're having problems with the drive, check to make sure that 
the adapter, if you're using it, lines up, slides in nice and snug. Can't see any of that underlying metal. So here we are on the MacBook. I'm going to go ahead and connect the Western Digital Drive. So if you want to use Time Machine, which I suggest you do, and I'm going to show you in this video, you'll want to go either up to your top toolbar, where you'll see the Time Machine icon, or if you don't, you can go down to your dock, click System Preferences, or in the top left-hand corner, click on the Apple, and go to System Preferences. Right away, this jumps us to a software update. We're not going to do that. We're going to click on these little dots. This will bring us back to the main menu of the system preferences. And here, down towards the bottom, on the right-hand side, you're going to see Time Machine. Now, if you're on Ventura, this won't be system preferences. It'll be system settings. And this will look a lot different, but you will have a search at the top. So if you want to just type in time, you should see Time Machine as an option. So we'll go ahead to Time Machine. Here, this gives you a quick explanation. Local snapshots as space permits. Hourly backups for the past 24 hours. Daily backups for the past month. Weekly backups for all previous months. The oldest backups are deleted when your disk becomes full. If you have a one terabyte hard drive, I would suggest, in your computer, I would suggest getting a one and a half, maybe at least a two terabyte external drive in order to back up your files. That'll make sure you've got enough room for multiple snapshots so you do have a little history that you can go back to before your files are deleted off the external drive. So one of the things I'm going to do in here, since it's not on already, is show the time machine in menu bar. So I'm going to go ahead and check that box. And now you'll see up here in the toolbar, we've got the little clock with the arrow that goes backwards. If I click on there, it says time machine is not configured. Enter time machine or Open Time Machine Preferences. Open Time Machine Preferences, it takes us to this here in the System Preferences. Enter Time Machine will actually take us into the Time Machine application. That's where you're going to be able to go back and recover files or folders or what have you that you've lost or accidentally deleted, etc. So we're going to come back in here and we're going to select Backup Disk. When we do that, we'll get a list of all the places that we can back up to. Other airport time capsule, that'd be great, but they don't make the time capsule anymore. Uh, we have a time machine here on Manning NAS. That happens to be network area storage that I have on my network, so that why, is why that shows up. And then, of course, the My Passport for Mac. Now, before we proceed there, I'm going to hit Cancel. Something you might want to do is rename the drive. If you want to do that, we can come over here to the My Passport. And I'm going to click on the title. And I'll show you that again. If I click once, it's highlighted. If I click again, it's going to allow me to type in the location. So I'm just going to call this TM Backup. Time Machine Backup. You can name it anything you want. My favorite backup, my laptop backup, etc. All right, so now that we've done that, let's come back over here, select Backup Disk. Here we have our TM Backup. Now, if you want, you can encrypt the backups. So if you encrypt the backups, they will not be accessible without your password. No matter where you take this drive or where you plug it in, if you don't have the password, 
you will not be able to get your information back. So if you're someone who's not good with passwords, I suggest you get a password app, keep your password in there. Or if you don't have a password app and you're not good at passwords, don't use a password. Just keep the drive safe and you should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this step for now. We'll say use disk. Do you want to erase TM backup so it can be used for Time Machine? Erasing will destroy all information on TM backup and can't be undone. The volume must be erased because it contains existing data. You can either say erase or select a different volume. We don't have a different volume, so we would just select erase. Now, why is it saying this if it's been formatted for Mac? Let's go take a look at this drive. In here, we have two applications. Western Digital Software for Mac and Western Digital Software for Windows. So this is the software that Western Digital is providing for you to use to make backups of your data. We're not using any of these. We are going to use Time Machine. The reason we're using Time Machine is Time Machine will make a backup of everything that's on your computer. So that if you do need to use Time Machine to restore your computer, you will get everything back. And what I mean by everything is you'll get all the settings back, you'll get icons back, you'll get your, your, your dock the same way that you may have configured it, um, bookmarks, everything, etc. Other ways that backups run are file level backups, which means that your files will be backed up, but none of your settings will exist. So if you were to have to get a new computer, you would have to go through the whole setup process, getting the computer back to the way that you wanted it, the way that you like it, desktop photo, etc etc and then you would have to bring your files in from the backup it wouldn't restore the computer to the last state that you had it at okay so here we are do you want to erase time tm backup and we're going to say yeah let's go ahead and erase it all right so the disk gets unmounted it goes through the erase procedure and when it comes back we should see a drive icon that looks similar to the one that you see in Time Machine. And there we have it. It replaced the icon with the Time Machine icon and it's ready to go. So they put in a little delay, next backup, 103 seconds. You could do two things, or actually you could do one thing which is go up to the icon up here it says waiting to back up and you can select to back up now before we do that I'm going to take you down here to this options now options allows you to exclude certain items from being backed up so right now this time machine drive is being excluded because it can't back itself up so we're going to leave it in the default state I'm going to hit cancel. We're going to go to the top right corner and we're going to say backup now. And there we go. Time Machine is now backing up. It's going to let us know what it's doing. It's going to calculate the time remaining. Eventually that'll let us know how long it's going to take and your computer will be backing up. Now let's say you've got to run and you got to grab your laptop and uh, go somewhere you can come back up to this menu here if it's in the middle of a backup and you can say skip this backup what that'll do is that'll stop the backup and that'll let you eject the drive you don't want to just pull the drive out of the computer you don't want to pull that cable out while it's connected you can but the Mac OS will complain to you 
and, uh, and, and tell you not to do it because you could cause damage to the computer or to the drive. So there's a couple things you could do. Uh, if you have a mouse, you can right click. If you're on a laptop, you can two finger click and you'll get this contextual menu and you can select eject backup. You can also take the drive's icon and as you drag it down towards the trash, you can see the trash turned into the eject button. And then you can drop it over the eject button. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll say skip this backup. It stopped the process. We can come down here, drag it to the trash. The drive ejects. We can unplug the drive. Then later, plug the drive back in and it'll mount back up on your desktop. Now the drive's been configured, you won't have to go into Time Machine to tell it to back up again. It'll recognize that the drive is connected and it'll start backing up. Unless you've got it set so that it's going to back up on power. So I'm going to come in here to the options. We're going to say back up while on battery power. Save. And there we go. We've got a countdown until it starts backing up again. Hope this helps. If you got any questions, please let me know. I'm going to put a link at the bottom in the notes uh, for you to uh, get your hands on this Western Digital Drive that has the USB-C with the USB-A adapter so that you can plug it into either one and it is an affiliate link so I appreciate uh, your purchase uh, through me. Thanks.